Fierce. Uh... Hi, I'm JC, and uh, I came up with this technique to help me get over my own fears, and I thought I'd share. So for those of you that just want the technique, leave a number right here of when it starts and get you on your way. Those of you that want a little backstory and explanation on the technique, well, I came up with it at work one day, and uh, it was honestly random. I thought about the technique, and I didn't really see it being of much use for me because I felt clean at that point. I felt like I didn't really have much that I was scared of. Well, later on, I uh, found out that I was scared of speaking. <laughs> scared of speaking my mind. I was scared of how people were going to react. And honesty in general was just a little bit scary for me. Well, after missing many opportunities to be honest and just speaking my mind, I finally just got frustrated and I started to use this technique and I worked with it for a week. Five days it took me to get over this fear of speaking my mind. And when I did, my relationships with the people changed overnight. It worked completely for the better and I noticed just how silly and restrictive fears were. To go into this with a purpose, this fear that you have, why do you want to get rid of it? Is it because you think that on the opposite side it's going to be better for you? Are you going to grow as a person? Are you going to experience more things? Is it going to just have you be happier? Decide what's your purpose for this. It makes it a lot more easy. It makes it a lot more effective. It makes it a lot more quick. So take the two things. You have something that you value, which is what you want, then you have this fear that's the block in between. So, a lot of times people have fears because it keeps them safe in their mind. Take the fear. Do you value it? Do you want to keep living this life because you find it comfortable? Or is it restrictive? How do you value this fear? Then value the thing on the opposite side. Why do you want it? Do you believe it's going to make you happier? Do you believe that it's going to give you more opportunity in life? Do you believe that it's better for you? So after you've gone through the valuing process, you're probably going to value the thing that you want a whole lot more than you value your fear. So what I want you to do is I want you to go into an imaginative state. Just close your eyes and just start imagining what it's like to have this thing. So I want you to go back and I want you to start seeing all the opportunities you've missed because of this fear. For me, I would go through my work day and see all the times where I wasn't being honest with my coworkers, I wasn't being honest with my friends, I wasn't being honest with the people that I loved. And I saw how it was affecting me. Emotionally, you know, it didn't feel good. And if I just took advantage and capitalized on one of those opportunities, I could have flipped everything around. So after doing that, I want you to start imagining what it's like not having this fear going through with this thing that you want to do. Now I want you to start paying close attention to your mindset, taking back that mindset and just start analyzing it and start noticing the correlation with the feeling. Being fearless usually means feeling good. Now start bringing that back. Start trying to implement that mindset into your just everyday life. When you see an opportunity come up to, you know, act out on this thing that you want, see if you can follow through with it. Now sometimes the fear might still be really strong and it'll stop you in your tracks. That's okay. That's good because it shows that you still need a little bit more work. And what you'll start noticing over time is that this mindset that has this fear is going to start being pushed to the side. And this new mindset, <laughs> this new mindset of fearlessness is going to take its place. One day, you're going to be a little bit more courageous than you are going to be scared. And you're going to go through with the opportunity. And when that happens, that fear just tends to melt away almost completely. Sometimes a little bit will be left, but more often than not, it's completely gone once you act out on this thing that you want. And you'll start to realize that that fear was kind of bogus. That fear really had no place in your life and you realize that being scared for no real reason. Now, it's gonna get hardest right before it's there and just keep powering through because honestly, things are beautiful. Life gets exciting once you stop being so scared and it opens up a lot more doors than you think. So, I'm JC. Glad you guys enjoyed. Peace out.